Welcome to Sweetwater's Gear Fest 2023. I'm Mitch Gallagher, and I have the honor of being your host for this year's installment of our annual gear and music extravaganza for musicians, engineers, and producers. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got an incredible lineup coming your way today and tomorrow. Whether this is your first time joining us for Gear Fest or you've been part of Gear Fest in the past, you're in for a real treat. GearFest is Sweetwater's annual two-day event where we bring together musicians, engineers, producers, content creators, and manufacturers to share our passion for music, pro audio, and gear. Sweetwater's been putting on GearFest for more than 20 years, and for 2023, we've pulled out all the stops with an incredible lineup of artists, special features, gear presentations, and studio tours. We've got interviews, surprise special guests, trade show style booth tours, and so much more. We've got two completely jam-packed days planned for you. For 2023, GearFest will be coming to you via live stream today and tomorrow, but the fun doesn't end when the live streams wrap up. Dozens of the biggest music and gear content creators from social media are right here on our campus in Fort Wayne, Indiana for GearFest 2023. They'll be bringing you tons of great videos and content in the coming weeks. These social media stars are touring the GearFest trade show to check out the manufacturer booths and to get hands-on with a mountain of great gear. They're visiting guitar, keyboard, and drum experience rooms, participating in games and events, and much more. And they'll be sharing all that's happening with you on their channels in addition to all the GearFest content and videos we're creating for you here at Sweetwater. There's something for everyone at Sweetwater's GearFest. The key is to search hashtag GearFest2023 on YouTube and your favorite social media platforms in the coming weeks to find everything GearFest related. Now with a name like GearFest, you know there's going to be a big focus on gear throughout the entire event. The latest and greatest products are on display here, and we've put together an insane array of incredible deals on the gear you want and need at Sweetwater.com. Plus, if you reach out directly to your sales engineer today and tomorrow, they can fill you in on all the opportunities to score the best deals of the year. And if you use your Sweetwater card to make your purchase, you can get 0% financing for 48 months. GearFest really is the best time to purchase your dream gear. Now, speaking of sales engineers, GearFest isn't just about content creators. Sweetwater's sales engineers are also touring the booths, interacting with the manufacturers, and are getting the full hands-on scoop on all the great gear on display here. One last thing I'll mention before we get started, GearFest is synonymous with free gear. You'll have multiple chances to win amazing free gear today and tomorrow, so stick around. I'll be filling you in on how to get your chance to win big later in this live stream. Don't go anywhere. All right, it's time to get things rolling. To kick off GearFest 2023, let's pay a visit to the studio of two-time Grammy-winning guitarist, songwriter, and producer Eric Krasno. Eric is well known for his work with Soul Live, Lettuce, Tedeschi Trucks Band, Pretty Lights, and many more. We'll check out an excerpt of our video tour of his dream studio, then we'll head back here to the GearFest trade show floor to visit all of our friends at the Focal, Gibson, and D'Addario booths and check out all their latest and greatest gear. Let's get started. Well, one thing I will say about Sweetwater, especially after visiting and um, putting out my guitar exclusively with Sweetwater and watching the quality control, you know, they are looking at every detail of every piece of gear. I was amazed at the process the guitar goes through before it gets to the consumer. It was incredible because years ago, you know, I was, you know, maybe hesitant to buy a very expensive piece of gear through a website. But now, you know, I think that not only am, am I sold, but obviously that's kind of the way people are doing it now. Um, but it's it's allowing for every musician to have access to the best gear, you know, and and it's like you're getting it knowing that it's in great condition and that it's the best stuff out there. So yeah, it's an amazing time to be a producer and to be a musician because we can make records at home that are really at the highest level, which wasn't the case when I was younger, you know, like it was, you were very limited in what you could achieve in a home studio. Now, you know, you spend, especially for a guy like me who loves analog sounds, I can get those sounds. I mean, it's not necessarily the same as being in Abbey Road in like, you know, the late sixties, but it's pretty damn close. Um, the kind of sounds we can get just in a room like this. Greetings everybody, Nick here at GearFest 2023, hanging out in the fantastic Focal Atmos Room, Studio C here at Sweetwater Studios. This is, it's a pretty cool room. Josh, yeah, Focal's hanging out with me. 
talking a little bit of Focal, some great stuff. Tell us what's going on in this room. Yeah, so we recently, um, a couple months ago, installed this new room uh, here in Studio C uh, with all solos and trios and a couple subs back here. Um, and just kind of everybody's coming through, just showing them the new space, letting them check it out. Many of them are like hearing immersive for the first time, mm -hmm. which is, uh, if you haven't, it's like kind of a, it's an experience for sure. For sure it's, yeah. it's an eye-opening thing and it's kind of taking our world by storm right now. So it's, uh, so far so good. And I can tell from, I can tell everybody here from personal experience, it sounds amazing in this room and we're able to mix in Atmos mm -hmm. now and record with Atmos in mind and these speakers do an amazing job yeah. in, in, in that sort of listening experience. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's uh, one thing we focus on at Focal specifically is we're an all analog speaker. We just want to maintain purity through the experience and all the dynamic range that comes along with Atmos and immersive technology in general. You really get the benefit of that, all the dynamic range, all of the, right. the information that's there. Uh, you really get to hear it, you know, in a proper environment, which is always a hard thing, right? Yeah. If you're at a trade show or anywhere out in the world where there's a pop-up one, it's like, it's really not, it's as good as it can be, but it's not really what you want it to be. Right. You know, it's really great to see it executed here. And if any clients come through or right. people come through today, they can check it out. And you don't need to, you, these speakers aren't just for Atmos. These are totally yeah. working regular yeah. stereo <laughs> applications yeah, as well. Yeah, of course, mono, <laughs> if, well, mono if you want, you know. Yeah, totally. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. So we've been making speakers um, since the 70s. Studio Mono is really since the early 2000s. So a bunch of huge records have been done on, you yeah. know, solo sixes and twin sixes and all those things over the years. Um, so yeah, you can use them in any application. Um, we've got a bunch of different series kind of from a more upper end entry level all the way through kind of a mid tier and a high tier, high tier solution. So kind of works for any sort of budget constraint. Right. This is uh, a little bit more expensive. This is definitely on the high end mm -hmm. of things. Uh, but yeah, stereo, mono, immersive, 5171. We can put them in your car if you want, whatever you want. Nice. <laughs> well, thanks so much for the info. Yeah. Have a great gear fest. You too. Sure, we're going to have a lot of fun in this room during this week. So thanks again. Anytime. And we'll talk to you again soon. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Gear Fest 2023. Don Carr here with Dinesh from Gibson. Man, awesome good to, to be here. Good to see you, man. Good Look to good see, to see you. you again, man. Yeah. It's, what do we got? You guys got all kinds you know, of stuff. We, Look at this booth. We, we tried to pack up the, the van as much as we could, man. So we brought as much as Amazing. we could. I left the kitchen sink at home, but, you know, we'll, we'll, there's a plumbing store down the street. I might be Perfect. able to grab something. Perfect. Well, you know, we brought a little assortment of some stuff, uh, some highlights from uh, the past uh, couple of releases, and then a couple things to uh, highlight Epiphones. Uh, this year is their 150th anniversary. Nice. So for that, we brought a couple exclusive pieces in. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and just kind of walk through what we have. Please do. Uh, we're starting off with the uh, KRK Goaxes, the fours and the fives. What's cool about that is that's a great uh, grab and go personal monitoring system. We can do uh, everything from, you know, mixes on the go. It's, it's Bluetooth compatible. So if you know you're, you're traveling or, you know, in the hotel room, you want to do a mix or touch something up, great way to start. And then uh, we take it to the faded collections. I've got all the uh, classic acoustics here, the J35, the 45, the Slash uh, Epiphone uh, 45, and the Hummingbird faded. Some of the Les Pauls down here, we brought in the uh, 70s deluxe model with the mini hums, personal favorite of mine. And then uh, next to it, the new uh, for 50s with the P90s, a couple of fadeds here as well, 50s and 60s Les Pauls. Some Kramer Strikers for those that want to get the shred on, you know. Uh, of course, we brought a couple of things in from the Mesa land as well. You can see uh, we've got uh, the uh, D350 for the portability, the new Mark 7. So that way, any type of player that wants to come in here, we got them covered. A uh, little California Tweed, Badlander 25 for the Recto players. Uh, this guy here is your exclusive release here. This is going to be the Richie Faulkner Flying V custom here with uh, the Floyd, the EMGs. Uh, this is a fantastic piece. You guys, again, are going to have the exclusive uh, release uh, for this event. Greeny Les Paul, um, American standard there, basically the USA Classic 335. These guys over here, uh, new for this year, the Wilshire and the Cornet, new colors. And we also brought back the, uh, they call it the Batwing headstock. And then continuing in the Epiphone land, which is booming for this year, uh, of course, the Epi uh, Carina Explorer. Dave Mustaine Flying V. The Zephyr's new. That's a great jazz box style. Jim James uh, uh, model. We've got the Emily Wolf in the new Aged White. And then, of course, the latest Adam Jones release there, the uh, self portrait. So, man, 
we're trying to stack as much in here. We've got a lot you know, moving, and uh, we'll be here doing interviews with some of the, uh, the influencers and uh, having a good time coming around the facility as well. Good grief, dude. That is killer, man. Appreciate Thank it, man. you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks for having us here. Thanks, everybody. See you guys. Greetings, everybody. Nick here at GearFest 2023 at the D'Addario booth with Will. Lots of great stuff from D'Addario, yes, Evans, sir. Promark, and some really cool stuff from Sunhouse. Tell us what's going on here. Yeah, so this is uh, the new sensory percussion sound system. Uh, it's a great product, now available on Sweetwater. Uh, in simple terms, it turns your uh, any acoustic drum set into an electronic drum set. Uh, the closest thing I can say about it is going between a Steinway piano to a synthesizer. It's like going from an acoustic drum set to a Sunhouse sensory percussion drum set. So, okay. a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, excited to show some people uh, playing it and exploring the different sounds. Yeah, and you guys were here not too long ago. We did a great video showing off the product. Yeah. It's upgraded from the original version. Yep and the sensors really do work. It's wonderful stuff, mesh heads or, or uh, regular plastic yeah, yeah. heads. Absolutely. It works with anything and tons of fun sounds. You really take your creativity all over the place with these. Pretty neat stuff. With this stuff, yeah, it's really beautiful. And then also so always great heads and sticks from Absolutely. Promark and Evans. Absolutely, we've got the snare tune-up kit here. Uh, great all-in-one solution, a great gift for, uh, for someone who's, uh, who's a drummer. Um, lots, of, lots of different alt sound sources. The DB1 cymbals and heads. Uh, great for low volume playing, things like that. Uh, you know, always quality from Diderio. You bet, okay. Well, lots of st cool stuff here. Gear Fest is just getting started. Gonna play some great music, Absolutely. make some more content, great and uh, have fun, have a great Gear Thanks. Fest. you too. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Here at Sweetwater, we're privileged to be visited on our campus by some of the biggest names in music. A great example is Tim Henson, composer and guitarist with the instrumental progressive metal band Polyphia, who was here recently for a recording workshop in Sweetwater Studios. A virtuoso player like Tim is extremely demanding about his guitars and gear, so it says a lot when he works with a manufacturer on a signature instrument. And in this case, the result is super cool, because even though he's best known as an electric player, Tim wanted a nylon string guitar, and Ibanez definitely delivered big time. If you've been looking for a unique voice for your six string excursions, then this is gonna be a must watch for you. We sat down with Tim and had him give us an up close and personal look at what this new guitar can do in the hands of one of today's most accomplished and respected players. Check this out. What's up guys, it's Tim Henson. I'm hanging out at the Sweetwater headquarters and I'm going to show you my signature nylon string TOD 10 and So basically, it's really thin, and it's really light, and it's really fun to play uh, when you play it unplugged. You've got this nice little sound hole that hits you up in the face, um, so only you get to hear yourself practicing, which is kind of cool. Turning it back on. On the side here, you've got volume. You've got a tuner, which you can use as a muter. Um, you've got bass and treble, and then you've got a phase button. Uh, we've got the Tree of Death inlay, and um, these cool, lots of details in these tuners. It's, it's quite pretty. Um, and yeah, other than that, it's, a, it's, a quite, it's really shreddable. Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. If you're like me, then you love microphones. There are so many choices, so many types, and they all sound different, and they all have different applications. You can never have too many mics. But when you're in the market for a new microphone, it can be overwhelming sorting through all the many, many options to find the best one for your particular needs, application, and budget. That's why when you're shopping for a microphone, Sweetwater should be your first choice. Let me give you five reasons why Sweetwater should be your go-to for microphones. First, Sweetwater sales engineers are your personal consultants when it comes to any type of gear, including, of course, microphones. Our highly trained and experienced sales engineers are passionate about music and high-quality products. 
They're ready and waiting to field your questions and to offer expert advice to help guide you as you build your mic locker. Our team of knowledgeable sales engineers are musicians and audio engineers themselves, so when they offer guidance on which microphone will work best for your specific needs, it's based on real-world experience using microphones every day in the studio and on stage. Second, we've created comprehensive mic comparisons that we have available to you at Sweetwater.com that allow you to hear the mics for yourself to compare and contrast the many options that are available when you're shopping. We've done mic shootouts on vocals, acoustic guitar, snare drum, kick drum, guitar cabinets, and more, and we brought it all together into one convenient location. You can find the ultimate mic shootout roundup pub, I guess you'd say, on the news and research page to easily jump to all the shootouts we've done, plus mic tutorials and more. From vocal mics to USB mics and even mics for upright bass, we have professionally curated, totally objective comparisons for you to explore. You'll find it's a huge help to be able to hear the microphones as you search for your new mic. Speaking of Sweetwater.com, number three on our list is our InSync News and Research Destination page, which features literally thousands of articles and videos that detail everything from the best microphones for Zoom calls to choosing the best camera microphone for video, and even in-depth video breakdowns of popular mics, such as the Shure SM58 and SM7B and the Sennheiser E906. When you need information on mics, or any types of gear for that matter, the Sweetwater News and Research page should be the first bookmark you click in your browser. Fourth, Sweetwater has spent more than four decades providing excellent customer service, including fast shipping, easy returns, and free tech support for the life of your product. You can be confident that Sweetwater will do everything we can to help before, during, and after your purchase. Sweetwater was founded on the principles of do the right thing and treating our friends and customers how we like to be treated ourselves. We're here for you. Fifth, Sweetwater carries an incredibly wide range of microphones from a variety of manufacturers, including popular brands such as Shure, AKG, Neumann, Royer, Rode, Sennheiser, Telefunken, and Audio-Technica, and many, many more. We've got complete specs and information, plus detailed product descriptions, reviews, and demos at Sweetwater.com. We want you to have the resources you need to help you make an informed decision about your microphone purchase. So that's five great reasons to purchase your microphone from Sweetwater, but I'm not done yet. I've got two bonuses for you as well. First, Sweetwater offers bundles with many microphones that include additional accessories such as cables, shock mounts, pop filters, and more, all at discounted package prices. This can be a great way to get everything you need for your microphone setup in one convenient bundle, while also saving your hard-earned dollars. Plus, here at Sweetwater, we were founded as a recording studio, and Sweetwater Studios remain a huge part of what we are as a company. We're using and testing microphones literally every day in our studios, as well as in numerous venues right here on our campus. We love microphones, we live for great sound, and we're passionate about helping you build the mic locker of your dreams for the studio or for live. To sum it all up, buying a microphone from Sweetwater can only be described as a personalized and customer-focused experience. With our expert advice, comprehensive shootouts, thousands of articles and videos, excellent customer service, the huge selection of microphones, and the bundle deals, you can be confident that you're making an informed and wise decision. Plus, with our free two-year total confidence coverage warranty, you can have peace of mind knowing that we stand behind every product we carry. So why wait? Visit Sweetwater.com or better yet, contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Your next microphone's waiting for you. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. I hope you're enjoying GearFest 2023 so far. Stay tuned because we've got lots more to come. We've barely gotten started. Now last year at Sweetwater's GearFest 2022, we premiered a music video with artist Elise Tro that was filmed entirely here on our campus by Sweetwater's video production team led by Chad Jenkins. The video, featuring a live looping performance of her song See Through, has gone on to garner rave reviews and tallied up an incredible number of views. Now Elise has released her latest EP, Losing Sleep, and took her show on the road for an extended tour. We caught up with Elise at a recent gig to learn more about the production of the video, as well as to tour her live rig. This is a fantastic opportunity to go behind the scenes with one of today's rising stars. Check out this excerpt, then look for the full video on Sweetwater's YouTube channel. As always, I'm playing with my Elise Tro Vader Custom Drumsticks, 7 A's.
Working with Sweetwater on the see-through video was an experience unlike any other that I've had. Um, most of the times when I've shot live looping videos, it's taken place in a studio, whether it's my studio or someone else's studio. And this was, I guess, yeah, the first live looping video that I've shot on a set and kind of had like a, you know, specific visual component with. And um, also, you know, in terms of the size of the crew, that's the biggest uh, like loop video, you know, most number of people that I've had involved with on one of those, you know, some of the videos I've shot, it's just like me in my studio with one camera and I kind of just place it and then I go, you know, do the song. But this was um, different in the sense that there were just more people uh, that kind of specialize in different roles. So I feel like it came together in a way that was just, it felt very strong in every area to me. It's no secret that Sweetwater's Gear Fest is the best event of the year for sharing your passion for music and audio with musicians, producers, content creators, and recording engineers from around the world. And it's also no secret that Gear Fest is one of the best times of the year to score a great deal on the equipment you want and need. Both those things are certainly true, but during Gear Fest, you could also be the lucky winner of a fantastic giveaway package. Coming up soon, we'll tell you how you can enter to win today's special GearFest livestream giveaway package, including a Line 6 Helix, two 1x12 Line 6 Power Cabs, and an awesome Ernie Ball Music Man Saber HT guitar. It's everything you need for fantastic guitar tone and performance at home, at rehearsal, in the studio, and live on stage. So stick around, I'll be coming back later in this livestream with complete information on how you can enter to win. You could be our next big winner, so stay tuned. Hey, this is Brian Fallon from the Gaslight Anthem, and welcome to Gear Fest 2023. Whoa, so my gear live is ever changing, but there's some consistencies. This is a M Emily Wolf signature Epiphone, a Murphy Lab SG. That's going most of the time through, I got a box hand wired AC30. That goes, there's an effects board, but the pedals change a lot. The staples are, I have an Analog Man mini chorus, an MXR Phase 90 from 1975 on there. You know, I use a King of Tone most of the time or the Jam Pedals Double Dreamer. I use a bunch of different fuzzes, like some I use a sun face, sometimes I use uh, Ren and Cuff, the uh, Silver Boss Wazacraft fuzz. Yeah, that, that is ever changing, but at least the guitars are, and the amps are getting pretty stationary. You wouldn't believe it, but this is actually a 50 watt amp. It's only small, but packs an incredible punch. You've got a straight through, you've got a treble boost, which you switch on the back. Gain, tone, and you've got output. That's what you want in performance. You want it simple, in my opinion. All the other stuff can be added on afterwards. It does have that sweetness, which allows you to go from something which is clean and slightly compressed to something which is way up there and singing to you. It packs enough actual movement of air so you can get feedback through the air. It sustains, it does the whole bit. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind going on to some future stadium gig and see how this shapes up. Welcome to Gear Fest 2023. I'm Michael Paris, OER keyboardist, Stomp alumnus, artist, live streamer, and filmmaker. And today I want to tell you about one of my favorite features of the Korg Nautilus Music Workstation. And that's your ability to import WAV files. For me, I like to bring in performance edits of songs where the lead vocal's been removed, as well as, in this case, the piano for my song A Bay Babu, which also features my friend John Lampley playing trumpet and backing vocals, and this way it's like he's here with me as I'm playing it. Check it, one, two. I like to sing it in the morning. I like to sing it when I'm driving. It calms me down. Even when I'm feeling lonely. I like to sing it in the evening. Yes, I do.
A big part of the GearFest experience is getting one-on-one -on -one time with Sweetwater's manufacturer partners, stopping by their booths to learn about their products right from the source and to get hands-on with the equipment. This year, Sweetwater's in-house content creators are roaming the aisles and checking out everything that's new and cool in our trade show style booth halls. Right now, we're going to pay visits to three of the booths in the GearFest trade show, featuring our friends at Arturia with their array of hardware and software synthesizers, Ashdown Engineering and their incredible Bluetooth meters headphones, and Bayer Dynamics and their fantastic microphones. Then when we come back, we'll sit down with vocalist, songwriter, and guitarist Miles Kennedy. You might have first noticed Miles as the character Thor in the movie Rockstar, but more likely, you know him as the co-guitarist in the incredible four-octave voice of not one, but two major bands. First, he fronts the band Alter Bridge with Mark Tremonti, and he's also the man in front of Slash's backup band, better known as Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators. Miles has exciting news for us. He's debuting his new signature Paul Reed Smith guitar right here at Sweetwater during GearFest 2023. This is your opportunity to get an exclusive first look at what's sure to become one of the hottest guitars of the year. So don't go anywhere. Next up, we've got booth tours with Arturia, Ashdown Engineering, and Bayer Dynamic, and then we'll listen in as Sweetwater's own Don Carr sits down with Miles Kennedy to unveil the amazing new signature instrument he's created with Paul Reed Smith. Hi, Daniel Fisher here at Sweetwater's GearFest 2023. I'm here with Gary at Arturia. Tell us what's new. We, we have our new uh, Key Lab Essentials, the newest member of the Key Lab family. It is an improved workflow with Analog Lab, our central control unit with a larger display, uh, improved features like arpeggiation and chord memory, additional faders. It's also made with uh, eco-friendly materials, re all recycled plastics. Brand new for us. We have new firmware for our MicroFreak synthesizer. Yeah, very I've read popular. about that. That's very exciting. Yeah, so we've ad now added new engines, three new granular synth engines, and a sample engine for a total of 17 engines total in this machine. We also have some of the uh, products you've seen in the past. This is our uh, Keystep Pro. A lot of the uh, modular synthesizers uh, players like to see that, so we always make sure we have that with us. Our new Mini Lab 3, a lot of the same type of features that we're going to get in the new uh, Mark 3 series, just in a tiny box that we can carry with us. And the big daddy. Yes, absolutely. This is, represents our current state-of-the-art controllers, our Mark 2 Key Lab controller, our 88 version with uh, the attached legs here. Uh, we also have our Polybrute Noir. Uh, this is just a, a new, uh, this is a new face for our Polybrute. It's a beautiful black uh, face panel with some different colors on the front to get around here. Uh, we have our Mini Freak. This is uh, maybe the, uh, the Micro Freak's big brother. This is a polyphonic synthesizer with 22 separate engines, three stereo effects units. Very, very capable. Also comes w with a VST plug-in. So we're, we're going to show all that here as well. And then we have our uh, Mini Fuse interfaces. These are phenomenal, easy to use interfaces in a few different flavors and colors here. Very easy to use, keep the workflow happening. And then our flagship uh, studio interface is the uh, Audio Fuse Studio. Well, thank you, Gary. Uh, these are all very exciting instruments and uh, talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Greetings, Nick with Sweetwater and welcome to day one of GearFest 2023. I'm here with my fellow Brit, my good friend Dan Gooday of Ashdown Engineering. What have you got to show us, my friend? Well, welcome, Pray tell. Welcome to um, GearFest 2023. We're here at the Ashdown booth. Um, my name's Dan Gooday, as wonderfully pointed out here by the wonderful Nick um, at Bocot. And yeah, um, we have a plethora of new products that we're launching at the show this year, including a uh, wonderful little CTM15, um, which is an all-tube desktop head, uh, built-in load, 15 watts, uh, powered by two EL84 EL tubes, um, a balanced transformer isolated DI output, um, and no load required. So it's one of the first ever sort of desktop tube amps for bass, um, low-powered, but you can get some amazing tones out of it. Characteristically, it's, it's very familiar. You get the rich, harmonic right. um, the rich harmonic distortion of a tube amp, but yet, it's clean and uh, it, yeah, it does exactly what yeah, it says. I it's great. It really is great. Thank you. And then we have the new studio mini rig, inspired um, from watching um, actually uh, the uh, the Disney Beatles Help um, a documentary, and it was um, the old columns. Everything just looked so cool. Everything was yeah, just right. aesthetically um, very pleasing, and wanted to do something that was portable but practical. So this is a 250 watt solid state bass amp with a. Uh, its own 2x10 extension cabinet that comes with it, rated at 4 ohms. 
so you can get the full power into that one little perfect rig. Um, floor, floor footprint, it doesn't take up a lot of space, but delivers 250 watts of gigable power. It's yeah. not a toy. Um, this thing will look great in your living room, but it will also look good on most stages uh, and works, delivers. It's not a toy mini rig. And then getting on to something a little bit different, we have uh, our CTM30 now available in Tweed. Um, and again, the Tweed Tolex, it's such a gorgeous thing to be able to do. And, um, it's the right amp for that. 30 watts, 4 EL84s with a matching 1x12 speaker cabinet. It's a, a beautiful thing and available via the fine folks here at Sweetwater. And yeah, um, we also have... Dun, 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 the Mega Drive. The, the James Lomenzo Mega Drive pedal. Um, James is a, a long-term Ashdown user, lover, um, uh, and just a genuine character. James has had a huge influence on everything that we've developed and this pedal was developed with James um, to, to serve a purpose. Bass distortion is such a, a specific thing to so many people. Retaining the low end but cutting through the mix was something that, 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 um, that James needs to do specifically within the bands that he plays with. Yeah. I mean, he plays Competing the, with heavy loud guitars. Yeah, yeah, to compete in that space. So this, you're able to tune the, the, where the distortion frequency sits within the cue. So you have a, a high and a low pass filter that you're able to adjust accordingly. And yeah, again, available here at the Fine Folks at Sweetwater. And, and thank you for having us. Um, thank you, sir. We were, watched by, we were being watched by the one and only Geezer Butler. Butler. So yeah. that gives you a good indication of Ashdown's artist power. Thank you, my friend. No worries. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Sweetwater. Greetings, everybody. Nick here. GearFest 2023, hanging out in the Buyer Dynamic booth with Jamie. Lots of amazing gear from Buyer Dynamic. Yes. Tell us what's going on. Yeah, man. So we've done, uh, so Buyer Dynamic next year is going to be celebrating our 100 year anniversary. Nice. So we've been around for a long time, building yeah. microphones, headphones um, for a very long time. Sure. And one of the big things that we've done is, um, we're refreshing our, our M-Series microphones. These microphones have been around, uh, we've been building them for like 60 years or something, and they've all had different looks, different vibes. Um, we just wanted to make sure that they look like a family. Like okay. to, so there is a cosmetic refresh, so anybody that's familiar with our current lineup, don't worry about it, that's, that's the same mic, it's still the same vintage tone that you're looking for, um, that you can still buy. Um, we have changed nothing to okay. the sound character. So I want to make sure that's clear. Um, <laughs> Very good. But just running down the line, uh, we have them lined up over here and I've got them set up on the kick, but we've got um, our M88 uh, kick drum microphone slash vocal microphone. It's kind of interesting. Sure. Um, and really that was the, it's, it's an amazing kick drum sound, but that was the microphone that Phil Collins would run around and, and tour with regularly. Right. Um, that was his, his mic. We also have our M160 over on the guitar here. Uh, guitar cab. Um, that's our directional ribbon microphone. That's kind of our special uh, piece. There's not a whole lot of them out there. Uh, it's a double ribbon microphone. That was like uh, Jimi Hendrix guitars, overheads for Led Zeppelin, uh, drum tone. Um, very special microphone for us. Um, and then running down the line, we actually have the M160 is our directional, but we have a bi-directional uh, figure eight ribbon as well. Okay. Um, then we have the M201, that's our workhorse. That's, you can put that on anything. You can put that on snare drum, toms. We've got it over here on our snare, um, guitar, anything you need. Beautiful. Sax, horns. Yeah. Um, we've got two small element condenser microphones. We got set up on overheads here, they're 930 and the 950. Um, and then our MM1 is our, our um, uh, RTA mic. Okay. Um, and so that's kind of the, the rundown of the, the microphones. And again, we've been building forever. Right. And and you have a lot of the, the mics from the large drum bundle on the kit here on the toms and stuff like that. I did, yes. I did a video on the large drum pack recently and they're fantastic mics. Yeah, amazing microphone kit. So you can buy that exclusively at, at, at Sweetwater. And so the idea is that you can get that uh, all part of a kit, clip right on, um, beautiful kit. Yeah, and they yep. sound great. Um, and then if you run over here, we have our headphones. So we're. I've uh, been in the headphone game for a long time. You bet. And so, you know, the, the most popular ones typically um, is the 770s. We built those out in 85, and then we ran the whole line up. So you can get these. We have a closed back and an open back model um, at our lower price point. And then we have a mid-tier of our Pro X. These are brand new. Came out, like, end of 2021. Okay. Um, and then our, our big dogs over here for monitoring and, and, uh, and mixing as well. Very good. Well, beautiful. Lots of amazing stuff from Biodynamic, yeah. as always. Have a great gear fest. Yes. I'm sure we'll be doing more stuff before the show's over. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Jamie. Yep, I'll see you. Cheers, everybody. 
was it your mo to sort of come up with one instrument that you can play like and cover a lot of different stuff yeah i, I really you know was hoping to find something that was as versatile as, po as possible. I had to kind of joke around that, you know, the, Sw the Swiss army knife uh, of guitars. And, you know, a long time ago, when I, after I'd been playing for a few years, I started doing session work here and there. I, I really loved being in the studio, but I would always have to take a number of different instruments with me to, for whoever was producing the, the, the project. And so the goal with this guitar was to have something that, you know, you just take this one act with you and you should be good to go. So it's, yeah, it has a lot of tonal options, which was, which was paramount. The, the neck is one of the things for me that was important that we get right. Um, Cause I feel like a neck can really inspire you and draw you in, or it can hinder you, it can slow you down, you know, it can fatigue your hand a little quicker. So we wanted to make it, you know, so there was enough mass there, but yet it, it, it wasn't going to burn you out. You know, it wasn't going to, um, you know, be a baseball bat. So I felt like we got, we got it right there. And, and it's, I don't feel like it's, it doesn't get sticky. You know, it's pretty easy to move up and down on it, which that was something that, um, you know, a lot of my favorite older guitars had that from just being played for, 50 or 60 years, you know, it's the finish would wear away. And, and so we were, we were trying to, trying to get that out of the gate with this as well. The pickup, the narrow field pickup, you know, it's what, what it allows you to do is have those, those single coil qualities without all the noise, without all the hum, and especially being in a studio. I mean, how many times have you been in a recording situation or, or even live and you have that, um, you have to deal with that with that noise of a single coil, but then they have that amazing those those. I mean, there's, there's just something that single coils have that that I, you know, I look. I love humbuckers. Humbuckers are great, but uh, but I there's there's a character to single coils that we were trying to, to emulate through with the narrow field, and take away that noise while retaining that that charm. I remember they sent one version, and it was a little bit darker than I would have liked. So then we tried it again. And I should say, Paul and the gang tried it again. And I rem I'll never forget this. This was one of the funnest parts of the process. Paul calls me up and he's just like practically jumping through the phone. He's like, oh, you're not going to believe it. Thank you so much for pushing us so hard. This is going to just blow your mind. And uh, so it's like, all right, okay, okay, well, send it to me. And so they shipped it like overnight and I got it. And I was just like, there it is. I called him up. I was like, you, that you, you, you got it. This is, this is the sound. This is what we're, this is what we're going to do. So that was, yeah, that was a lot of, a lot of fun. I mean, I'm, I'm, I was kind of a nerd about it. You know, I would take the various pickups and, or, and various guitars, you know, various versions, various wood combinations, you know, and, and I would put it up on a frequency analyzer and, and really, you know, analyze what was happening. Well, this one here has more 4k and this one here, you know, so it became kind of a sign. <laughs> you know, I was using my ears, but at the same time, I also am kind of a nerd. I'm a total nerd. So I wanted to know what each um, uh, combination was doing. And, and as you know, with guitar, the thing about guitars is it, it really is about finding that, that magic combination of, of wood and pickups and the, you know, the, I learned a ton about bridges and how much difference that can make. And so, you know, it's it, besides the fact that you know, I, I got a guitar that I always dreamed about out of the, out of the um, entire process, but I also feel like I learned a ton and I also made some really great friends along the way. I feel like we all got closer through the whole, through the whole process. So it was, it was a win-win all the way around. Can you believe that we're not even halfway through the first incredible day of Gear Fest? I mean, we've already covered so much ground and seen so many amazing things. Thank you so much for being here with us. One of the great things about GearFest is all of us from around the world coming together to check out equipment, to geek out over pro audio, and above all, to indulge our mutual passion for music. And that's what truly brings us all together. It couldn't happen without you joining us, and we appreciate it. Now, speaking of passion, pro audio, and music, few companies bring all three of those things together like Universal Audio does. Founded by one of the all-time great recording engineers and gear designers, Bill Putnam, Universal Audio thrives today as a supplier of top-notch audio hardware and software under the watchful eye of Bill's son, Bill Putnam Jr. 
Sweetwater and Universal Audio have been partners in great sounding audio for decades now, and it's been a fantastic relationship that continues to grow every year. Recently, a team from Sweetwater paid a visit to Universal Audio's Santa Cruz headquarters to get an up-close look at the company and the amazing equipment they're creating. In this video, we'll give you a taste of our behind-the-scenes tour at UA. Then, we'll take a full-band rig tour with Cuco. Coming out of Hawthorne, California, Cuco skyrocketed to the top of the indie music world with two self-released EPs with hundreds of millions of streams on Spotify alone. In 2019, his first full-length release came out on Interscope Records. Then last spring, he released his second full-length album, Fantasy Gateway. His most recent release is a single, Si Me Voy, a collaboration with the Marias. Cuco's music brings together diverse musical elements, including bossa nova, indie pop, English and Spanish lyrics, synthesizers, 808s, and more. Here at GearFest 2023, we've got an excerpt from our video where Cuco shows us the gear he's using out on tour this year. It's a fantastic behind-the-scenes look at what one of today's top artists are using live on stage. Now remember, you can check out the full versions of the video excerpts you see here at GearFest over on Sweetwater's YouTube channel. But don't head over there yet. Stick around for our tour of Universal Audio and our rig tour with Cuco, and then be sure to stay tuned because we'll be heading out onto the GearFest 2023 trade show floor to check out all that's new and cool from our friends at Bond Audio. Bond Audio is the parent company for an incredible family of industry-leading groundbreaking brands, including legendary names such as D'Angelico, Supro, and Pigtronics. Next, we'll head over to the Blackmagic Design booth. We've been using Blackmagic gear for a while now here for our videos at Sweetwater, and I'm really excited to see what they have in store for us at their booth. Then, we'll stop by and check out the Avid booth. I've had Avid gear in my studio since the very early days, and I can't wait to check out what they're showing here at GearFest 2023. Settle in, we've got Universal Audio, Cuco, Angelico, Supro, Pigtronics, Blackmagic Design, and Avid. Now that's a whirlwind of gear fest headed right your way. If you look at classic microphones, especially today, no two sound the same. For example, you could go rent 10 vintage 251 microphones and they would all sound different. The key is understanding the design of the microphone. What makes them different? What makes them special? What are the elements about the design, about the history, about the way they've been used that make them desirable still today? So that's what we've done with David Bach, is designed this series of microphones where we can design microphones that exhibit the best qualities of the best examples of some of the most classic microphones ever made. These microphones are then made, handmade by craftsmen in our custom shop in Santa Cruz, California. It's not just the design of the microphones, but also the manufacture of these microphones. We're building by hand. We hand test each individual component. They're being hand built and then individually tested. We have our own anechoic chamber where we're actually testing the performance of each microphone to make sure they meet our specifications. You know, we talk a lot about what is a UA product and, and what might not be a UA product. And you know, we had the high-end uh, Apollo recording interfaces and we talked for quite a long time before we decided to focus at a more uh, f uh, affordable um, and even entry level product. Um, but we knew that we were only gonna do it if we could deliver something and uh, that was unlike the competition and deliver you know, our quality result. You asked me about craftsmanship and so we need to be able to look at every product and say, can we deliver this to them at that price? And we decided we could do that with Volt and I'm just, just thrilled with the response and, um, and it's not just the entry level. I see uh, you know, artists with names that we've recognized using them as well. I've seen them show up at live concerts for various uh, purposes and so it's really great to see that. And, I use one all the time. Um, I use the 276 and the, it just sounds amazing. So again, a beautiful product that we're, uh, has done well, um, but it's one that I think really um, supports our brand well. This is a Yamaha VCS. This is what I've kind of had since the beginning of time, before, like the, before the universe existed. Um, I don't know, I, I literally have nothing to say but good things about this thing because like every time I go to like a studio session or like anywhere, it's always like, yo, I'm gonna buy this because it's such a great keyboard, it's affordable, it's like so, so good just getting every sound I want out of it and um, live it just sounds freaking huge. Like if I work with somebody and 
like I, I gotta gauge what they're what they're working with and you know see what what makes sense. But the thing I always bring with me is my reface, the CS. Like I bring that everywhere with me. It's always with me. So that's the one thing that doesn't change. I always have that because I know it's um I know it's like a really good sense. So anytime I use it, it's gonna it's gonna do it at any session, any show, any time. I'm just bored and want to play something. Hey everybody, welcome to GearFest 2023. Don Carr here with Justin at Bond Audio. How we doing? Good man. Good to see you, Justin. I'm Thanks for to being be here. Thanks Absolutely. for being here. Cool man. So you guys, you guys cover a lot of brands. What do you got, man? Well, you know, Bond Audio is Supro, D'Angelico, and Pigtronics, and uh, we'll go in that order. Okay. A um, lot of new stuff. A yeah. lot of stuff for this year. People are really stoked about it. Great. Man. Um, let's start with Supro. And actually, this is probably my favorite launch recently for Supro. This is the Amulet One by Ten. Um, it's a, if, if you're familiar with the Comet, which is like a super amp that's been around for a while, it's basically the evolved version of the Comet. We expanded the equalization, um, more attenuation settings. So on this amp, you can switch between 15 watts, 5 watts, and 1 watt. Um, it's basically like a glorified master volume. It's a great amp, you know, whether you're playing gigs, whether you're at the studio, whether you're in your bedroom, and it just gives you that like super class A, mid-range heavy sound that's just, you know, unbeatable. Um, and this is kind of the new like black Scandia Tolex um, aesthetic for Supro, which originally started with the Royale. And the Royale over here is, you know, our high headroom, 50 watt, 50, 50 watt class AB or 35 watt class A um, amp. And it's a great, you know, backline amp, clean amp, programmable reverb, it's really, really great. And then you got the Black Magic Reverb over here, which is just a, uh, a classic, you know, that, that Jimmy Page tone from the 60s. And, uh, and it's just, I can, I can go on all day about that one. And then there's the Delta King 12 over here. I'll get to that when we get to the pedals. Um, on the D'Angelico side, the big thing this year has been the Tour Collection, which is, you know, starting with the DC, the Mini DC and the SS. So we've basically taken our semi-hollow shapes that have kind of been a staple in the D'Angelico line and we've kind of given them a new vibe. Um, a little bit, little bit more minimal in terms of design um, and I would say, you know, it's kind of a less opulent aesthetic for D'Angelico and people are really liking that. And it has this kind of like late 50s kind of retro thing going on with it. This is like a slate blue finish. This is my favorite finish of the three. And um, the big thing with these guitars is the premiere of the Supro Bolt Buckers, which is the first time we actually have done cross-branding with, with the two companies. And so the guys at Supro designed this PAF-style humbucker that is just leans more on the rockier side. It's an explosive, big pickup, um, and I, I can't speak highly enough about it. Um, Moving on, this is the Melanie Fay DC. Melanie is an artist of ours. I've gotten to work with her personally for years. Uh, this is newly available at Sweetwater. It's an amazing guitar. Mismatched pickups, neck is covered, bridge is uncovered. Those are Ken Armstrong's metallic surf green finish. It's just, it looks totally unique. Um, lots of other stuff here. This is the XL59. Uh, Double P90, fully hollow, very unique. And this is actually my favorite guitar that we've come out with this year, which is the XL SS Soho. I know they've been selling like crazy. This is, you know, basically your arch top guitar shrunken down to 14 inches wide in our SS shape, fully hollow on the inside, floating pickup here, ebony pickguard, um, slim C shaped neck, ebony fingerboard. And uh, we designed this with Mark Whitfield, who's a, a, a dear friend and just one of the most incredible jazz guitarists I've ever met. Dude, Justin, thank you, man. So cool. Great Happy stuff. Happy to show you this stuff. Great and stuff. We're here the next few days. Come on by, and uh, it's going to be great. Awesome, man. Welcome to GearFest. Thanks, thank everybody. Thank you, guys. Hey, what's happening, you guys? Credit D. Will here from Sweetwater at GearFest 2023. I'm here at the Black Magic Design booth with my guy, Mr. David Hoffman. How you doing today, man? I'm doing great, man. Thank you very much. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So tell me about what you got going on. Oh, man. So uh, first off, we want to say thanks to Sweetwater for yeah. having us here. It's our first time at GearFest. Totally stoked. 
Uh, we weren't really sure what we were going to be able to show here, so we just decided to bring it all, knowing that this is really an entry for most people that are in the audio world mm -hmm. to be able to see some of the video stuff. So we wanted to bring a few of our cameras and switchers and routers and other things like that that we wanted to introduce to everybody. So kind of starting over here, we've set up a, a, a kind of a mobile production setup here with the, the this side of the table here. We have our Pocket Cinema 6K Pro, which we is the camera yeah. being used right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have good. one of our seven inch video assists, which is also a five inch video assist. It's an HDR uh, 12 G capable device for recording and playback, using it as an external monitor for your camera right now. Uh, we have our four input ATEM Mini Pro ISO. This little switcher right here will record all the inputs that come into it and create a DRP file, a DaVinci Resolve file. Why is that useful? Because if we use our cloud storage devices, we can then replicate up and take this back to our, our field production team. So this is where we move on down the line a little bit here. Uh -huh. We have our speed editor and our micro control panel. Using those within the DaVinci Resolve uh, software, I can then do editing and color grading very quickly on all those files and then further pass those along over to our studio environment, which is over here. So here we kind of step up in our uh, overall capability. We have our 1ME advanced control panel here, controlling our 10 input 1ME Constellation HD switcher, which is up in the rack there, right above our, our uh, HyperDeck uh, Pro HD, which is an SSD based playback and record device. Okay. So now I have all of the controls that I need here to run a full production, and that's all being fed by our studio camera here. This is our 6K studio camera, uses the EF lens, similar to the EF mounts that are on the uh, Pocket Black Cinema 6K, so you yeah. can use the same lenses around uh, your environment. Has talkback, tally, you see the red light up at the top. If I switch my camera there, you'll see that it'll, uh, it'll go away from, from being on air. Let's go cut here and go to camera three. And you see it went off air, so I, yeah. can, I can control talkback and tally for the talent. You see the green screen back here, we're running this through our Ultimate HD, our Ultimate 12 HD. This is creating a uh, composite for me to be able to show a, uh, a full composited background. So there we go. If someone was to step in front there, I would be, be able to put you into a, a chroma keyed environment. So there you go, you're in the studio. But here, let me show what this looks like. So there's the green screen there. And there's the composite. So that can be a, a still store like we have right now. And we could crop in with more lights, obviously, in a bigger green screen. We'd be able to have a fully immersive environment. We can also feed video in the background so we can have live backgrounds playing behind you. Yeah. And that's basically it. I know it's a lot. Man, uh, Black Magic's like a... uh, 20 years in business now. We yeah. have about 144 different products, all of which are being represented by Sweetwater. So we're totally happy uh, to be here and totally stoked that you guys are using our gear to make these videos. So thank you thank very you, much. Thank you, man. Hey, I'm Mitch Gallagher. I'm coming to you from GearFest 2023 in the Avid booth. My friend Gil. Great to see you, buddy. Good to see you, too. Always a pleasure. Appreciate and you letting us be here. Always so much cool stuff to see. Awesome, yeah. So, got some stuff to talk about. Let's uh, kind of take you through kind of what we've been doing the last several months. Uh, big news here on this station is Inbox. It's been out since uh, last November. Really great kind of our foray back into the personal interface market. USB-C, class compliant interface, works with everything from Mac, PC, and even iOS. Yep. A uh, lot of great inputs and outputs on this thing. Some pretty unique stuff for a small interface like this, like we've got effects loops for guitar pedals, we've got a reamp out, full monitor section here. Also, it's got Bluetooth in and out. So a lot of really, really cool things uh, about that in a small little desktop box like that, which is really cool. Um, a couple weeks ago, we came out with a new version of Pro Tools 2023.6, a uh, feature that a lot of our customers have been asking for for, well, actually a couple of decades, <laughs> is uh, something called track markers. So let me uh, open up uh, this here real quick. And now instead of just having markers up here at the top of the timeline, you can actually add markers down on individual tracks, which is going to be great for post-production, but even in music production, being able to keep mixed notes and, and, and while you're recording and things like that, and have the ability to actually turn on comments to be able to see not only the track name or the marker name, but also the comments view as well. Very cool. So that's a very cool thing. Yeah. Uh, we've got some new stuff actually coming out, hopefully in the next week or so, with our Yukon. 
uh, release that's uh, 2023.6 coming out here pretty soon. Big news here with our smaller studio stuff is with Avid Control, we now have, kind of in conjunction with the new markers feature, we now have a new marker uh, view here in the Avid Control section, which basically will follow the timeline, and let you actually go in, and uh, I can choose to change the size of that, get in here, I can select those on the touch screen. It makes it really easy to navigate now right there from uh, the Avid Control app. Real quickly, want to touch on uh, Matrix Studio. It's been out for several years, but we've got a, a new Thunderbolt option that's going to be coming out. We showed back at NAMM a couple months ago. Uh, be shipping later this summer, but we've got it here at the show. Gives you 64 channels of uh, input and output in addition uh, on Thunderbolt, in addition to all the other I/O on the box, which is really cool, and can also be controlled. Uh, via the Thunderbolt cable, no need to hook up Ethernet from the Dadman software. Nice. Over here, uh, with our Carbon expanded system, uh, last fall we introduced Carbon Pre, which basically allows you to add up to two of these to an original Carbon, and uh, basically be able to gather up 24 remote controllable mic Pre's with the hybrid engine and the DSP and the Carbon, giving you a 24 channel uh, recording setup right there, real simple to use, all AVB connected. And then the big thing with uh, Pro Tools 2023 that we just added here with this is we now have the ability to do surround monitoring with Carbon. Oh, nice. So you can actually now do 5.1, 7.1, and even up to 7.1.2 Atmos monitoring, right all from Carbon. Fantastic. Wow, there is lots going on. Lots of stuff going on. Yeah, yep. all such cool stuff. Thanks so much for giving us a tour. I mean, it's always so fun to stop by and see that. All the Definitely cool appreciate it. Looking forward to seeing everybody here at GearFest. Yeah, it's going to be great. Thank you. Good to see you. All right. And thank you for joining me in the Avid booth. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Nearly 45 years ago, Sweetwater started out as a mobile recording studio in the back of a VW bus owned and operated by Sweetwater's founder, Chuck Surak. Needless to say, things were a little different back then. The studio featured a four-track reel-to-reel tape recorder, a very small analog mixer, a few mics, and a long mic snake to run into wherever the music was happening inside the venue. And that's about it. Over the years, we graduated into a home studio, and this is really before home studios even became a thing and then into a couple of purpose-built spaces, and most recently into the three world-class Russ Berger designed rooms that are now home to Sweetwater Studios. Along the way, we began helping our friends get the gear they needed for their studios, and the retail part of Sweetwater was born. So needless to say, we love studios. We love making music in studios. We love helping our friends with their studios. Sweetwater sales engineers are dedicated to being expert on studio gear, and they bring years of in-studio experience to the table to help you with building your dream studio, whether it's your first studio at home or a multi-million dollar recording complex. The same care is taken for every one of our friends to help them achieve their dream of having an amazing space for making music. We have our own team of console specialists here at Sweetwater who bring decades of real-world experience to designing and installing high-end recording studios. And we also work with the best of the best studio integrators and builders at All Pro Sound and often consult with acoustics experts and studio designers at Haverstick Designs on projects. Sweetwater is definitely the place to call to take your studio from the germ of an idea to a full-blown, finished, music-making space. In addition to designing and building studios, we love to see studios, to tour them, and to bring those studio tours to you. That's because every studio tour is an opportunity for both inspiration and for great ideas that we can then apply to our own studios or to our friends and customers' studios. I've had the privilege of doing video tours in some of the finest studios in the world, including The Village, Fame Studios, Bob Clearmountain's Mix This, Chris Lord Algie's Mix LA, East West Studio, Power Station, and many more. Recently, we visited Quad Recording in New York, and we got an exclusive tour of DJ Jazzy Jeff's private studio as well. You saw part of our tour of Eric Krasno's studio earlier in this live stream, and we've got more great studio tours on the way. They're all fantastic opportunities to see real-world studios, to learn from them, and to get even more excited about making music. Among our most recent studio tours, we headed over to Ohio to pay a visit to 21 Pilots drummer Josh Dunn's home studio, which may be the only studio I've ever seen with its own boxing ring. Sweetwater worked with Josh, his team, and Gavin Haverstick of Haverstick Designs to create a truly unique space that's custom-tailored to exactly how Josh likes to work. It's a brilliant example of what happens when a team comes together to bring a creative vision to reality. We'll be taking a look at an excerpt from our tour of Josh's studio in this segment. Then we'll be back on the trade show floor 
We'll be dropping by to see what's new at the Dunlop booth, which is always full of a sweet array of pedals, as well as visiting with our friends at DW Drums to see what's happening in their world of drums. And then we'll be stopping at the Bose booth, where I know you're gonna be blown away by the brand new S1 Pro Plus portable PA system. It's a killer. Welcome to the drum room. Josh, would it be safe to say this is your favorite room? Before I had this, it was my bedroom. <laughs> um, yes. But now it's this room. Very good. Yeah, I love this room, obviously the aesthetic nature of it. Uh, a lot of personal touches. This is the artwork done by Dabs Myla. That's also the same art that we have up in, you call it the cathedral room? Or? Yeah, sunroom, cathedral room, tall love room. It. But the artwork continued down here. And I'm bringing up the artwork because it was a very important design element from my perspective. Uh, when I was bringing in all the hardware to set up for the microphones, I did not want to get in front of the entire kit with a bunch of mic stands. So shout out to Triad Orbit, really walked me through the process of what I would need to make a very minimal footprint in regards to the hardware. I'm really excited to hear drum samples come out of this room. The drums are made by a company called SJC Drums. Uh, I've been working with them since probably 2012 or early 13. Uh, when we were still playing clubs. Debbie loves tree houses, my wife. She loves the idea of a tree house. I proposed in a tree house in New Zealand. Uh, we kind of look at this house as a tree house a little bit. We're surrounded by trees. And that sort of informed some of the Dabs Mila's artwork a little bit as well. And so I said, what if we did sort of a tree themed uh, drum kit. Mike just went to work and he actually didn't want to show me progress along the way. Um, he was like, this thing is turning out so good. Uh, I don't even want to show you until it's done. He did tell me about this idea. It's actually just the front head is just a, a block of wood. And I said, I'm just worried about how it's going to sound. But he sent that and I sat down and I played it and I was like, this sounds great. I couldn't believe Somehow. it. Somehow, yeah. When he told me that the drum head was solid wood, I went to all of my friends and I'm like, okay, we'll see what happens. And I remember we dialed in like first 10 seconds, like, okay, this sounds fantastic. Yeah. So yeah, no, that was that was a major surprise. I wonder how many other drum sets we're gonna see now with solid wood. Well, we'll heads. see. I, it also, <laughs> I think this thing took a while to, I mean, this thing's custom made. Right. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. They, just a lot of attention to detail. They kind of engraved their logo here. They also did a couple of other um, engravings on the kit. Um, one of Debbie and I's first, when we first started dating, she took me to uh, where she grew up in, in Texas actually showed me our old high school. We sat on a bench and I carved in our initials. Incredible. So I sent over a photo and, um, and they engraved our initials a couple times on, on each of these drums. The throne is basically a tree stump <laughs> um, that's adjustable. You can adjust the height. I've never seen anything like that either. Right. They really went above and beyond on these drums. I think they sound phenomenal. Greetings, Nick with Sweetwater here. Welcome to GearFest 2 2023. And I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, Brian Kehoe. Come on! MMA star, also great guitar player, and rep extraordinaire, player extraordinaire for Dunlop. You've got two new products here. Show us what you got, my friend. We sure do. I'm gonna start with the Daredevil Fuzzwa. So Johnny Waters from Daredevil, boutique builder out of Chicago. Excellent stuff. You know, he's pals. We're pals. Everyone's yeah. friends here. Yeah. And he said, hey, let me do something cool. We're like, yeah, all right, what do you got? And he goes, I want to do a fuzz and a wah. We're like, run on. So he took one of our wahs. I don't think there's any um, real component changes, but he dialed it in with the sweep range and a cue point gotcha. in a real sweet spot to um, a company the fuzz circuit that he put in there. Now, he was a little secretive about his fuzz. It's a modded version of one of his hot-rotted fuzz, and to me, it kind of has like a Mick Ronson color ooh, sound, Mark ooh, II kind of thing, ooh, ooh, ooh. although he didn't really specify that. Gotcha. Now, do you know, is it fuzz then wah, or wah then fuzz, or can you flip them? That is a very good question, and I believe the fuzz circuit is first in this because when you have the wah after a drive pedal, it's like kind of clamping down on that nozzle on a hose. It's like, Gotcha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Most times you're gonna see guys have the wah first in line and then go into, but then there's some guys that like to go goofy foot and put it at the end of their signal. Right. And it really compresses everything into that filter. Right. There's no real set rules. Yeah. Whatever but, sounds good and feels good, right? Um, that's yeah, good. that's right. So that's the Daredevil, what about this? Psychedelic looking. That is the hybrid fuzz. 
And so George Trips was working the lab late one night. Of course he was. And he came up with a, a circuit that's loosely based on a fuzz face circuit. But what he did is the germanium uh, transistors. Right. Transistors, right? Yes. Not, uh, what's the other one? Diodes. Diodes. It's yeah. a transistor. Thank you. I get mixed up. I failed math. Anyway, the fact is, is that, so the germanium has this nice, warm, very organic feel, but right. it's not very stable. Right. So he took a germanium transistor, paired it up with a silicon transistor for the stability. So you kind of get the warm, organic feel, but then you get the stability and a little more gain and output from the silicon. And so he merged them together into a hybrid. Yeah, hence the name. Yeah, and then we got this cool psychedelic look. Which, you know, that's kind of cool. Because it's George. I mean, you know, because it's fuzz, too. Yeah. It's all right. Brian, yes. Thank you, Sold, my friend. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Sweetwater friends. What's going on, everybody? Nick here at GearFest 2023 at the DW booth with Skyler. What's going on? Hey. Great to you have doing? you here. Yeah, thank this you. This is your first time here at Sweetwater, right? Not my first time at Sweetwater, but first time at GearFest. GearFest, yes. that's right. I got it right now. Oh, cool. What do we got going on? This is a beautiful new snare. Yeah. So this is our new uh, Alex Gonzalez icon, the drummer for Mana. Uh, super cool. All of these are wood inlaid. They're not painted or anything like that. We got uh, the rose because that's just kind of his thing. He has that on his kits all the, all the time. Mana, his face. <laughs> <laughs> then we got a signature over here on the side too. That's gorgeous. Yeah, it looks really cool. And Great. I hear they're pretty popular as well. Oh yeah. Great drummer as well. Awesome guy. Very cool. What else you got going All on? All right, so over here is kind of our nod to Josh Freeze. Uh, he has the new gig for uh, Foo Fighters. And this is the finish he has on his kit that he's on tour with right now. It's called Rose Copper. Awesome finish, looks really cool. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of not his full setup, but just kind of an inspiration of what he has out on the road right now. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, then we got here, our little pedal display, all of our pedals. We got the three, the five, the 9,000, our MCD, and our MDD. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. And then over here, we got a <laughs> performance kit with some LP gadgets. It's, uh, we're calling it LP Your Kit, showing that you can add different things for all kinds of different sounds and get whatever you're kind of looking for, that you don't just have to have drums. and you could have some jam blocks, cowbells, shakers, all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah, there's lots of great accessories oh, you yeah. could add. And I'm sure we'll be making content and making music with all this stuff yeah. before the day's out. And then some cool snare drums yeah. and Lazy Susan so you can tune your drums, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So right here we have a collector's maple gold glass finish ply with gold hardware. It just... It, you can definitely bling oh, your drum yeah. kit with this, yeah. with this snare. Yeah, all gold. It looks really cool. Yeah. We got our black nickel over brass right here. And then right here is kind of like the anatomy of a snare drum. So we have all of our different uh, colored hardware. We've got the gold, black nickel, satin chrome, nickel, and just regular chrome. Mag throw off. And then this is somewhat new on all collectors, it's our five position butt plate. So it has five different positions. You get the tension of the snares exactly where you want them. All right. Well, that's a lot of fantastic yeah. stuff. Thanks for joining us at GearFest. Yeah. We'll have some fun here this week. Oh yeah. And, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, what's happening? Credit D. Will here from Sweetwater. I am at GearFest 2023 at the Bose booth with my guy, Mr. Will. How you doing, bro? I'm doing all right. How you doing? Awesome, man. I'm doing pretty good and enjoying all the gear and all the festivities we have going on. So tell me a little bit about what you got going on, bro. All right, so I'm, I'm an artist. I'm a singer-songwriter. Oh, word. And uh, I have the pleasure of working with Bose a lot, um, basically because I utilize Bose all the time. This is the new product. This is the Bose S1 Pro Plus and it's a micro PA. It's also the best Bluetooth speaker you could ever have. Hold wow. On. Yeah, and I got big muscles. Yeah, you can handle it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this is a portable, battery-powered micro PA. I can use this in the street, I can use it for party, I can use it for speeches. And this is uh, the elevated model from the very successful uh, Bose S1. Okay. This is the Pro Plus. Now, what's different? It's a pound lighter. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and. Um, 
but this is what's different. Right in here, pop it out. Oh, wow. Look at that, flip that out, that can go into anywhere. Right here we have it, you notice it's coming, coming right in here. Uh -huh. It's going to this keyboard. This keyboard is running a stereo pair of the Moffitt's monitors. Oh, wow. Over here, hold, keep holding that. Mm -hmm. I got one on this guitar for a unit right here. And then I'm wireless, and I can play anywhere, and I can, I'm free to be who free I am. Free to jam out, right? Exactly. Yeah. Same thing. Put this right on the mic. You'll notice right here, it's on the mic. Mm. And as soon as you, as a performer, swap out your cables, and you're free to be who you are, play how you want, where you want, tucked in a corner, on a mountaintop, mm -hmm. whatever you need, it's, it's a game changer. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I can give you a couple examples. But in addition to that, I mean, you can Bluetooth, you can stream through this. It's an incredible sounding speaker. Um, and it orientates any way you want. You notice over here we have it on pull. So you can pull mount it with a sub for even more low end. Mm. Uh, you can tilt it back. So if you're busking in the street, you know, you just you can be anywhere. You just have any total city, freedom to do it. Total yeah. freedom. You know, I can have that leave that on the ground and go stand over there if you're jamming with someone on the street and you're mm. a busker. You have the freedom to interact with the audience in a different way that you've never been able to do before yeah. with your cables. Also, you're not like wrapping up dirty cables at the end of the day. Right. You've been like stepped on <laughs> and like beer spilled on them and everything yeah, like yeah. that. Your, your setup time is a minute, your breakdown time is 30 seconds. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a game changer. Definitely. Sounds like it. Um, yeah. What other questions? That's, man, hey, this things look awesome, bro. I thank you for taking the time. Yeah. I appreciate it. Something really important too. What's that? Is the most important factor. What's that? If you have it on the side as a monitor, tilt it back around a pole, this turns. Oh, okay. So you all, you know, <laughs> everything. The details. The yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Dope. The Bose S1 Pro Plus. Awesome, man. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay, it's here. It's time to learn how to enter for your chance to win in our massive GearFest 2023 Day 1 giveaway. Throwing your name in the hat is super easy. Just head over to gearfest.com slash win to unlock your chance to win all the exciting prizes in today's giveaway. Today's prize package includes a Line 6 Helix, which will serve as the hub for your tonal explorations. The Helix brings you everything from the most realistic amps, speakers, and microphones to effects and much, much more. If you're gonna play, you gotta hear those amazing Helix tones, and it should definitely be done in glorious stereo, so we're also including two of Line 6's power cabs which will pump out all the sound you need at whatever volume you choose. The power cab is the perfect companion to the Helix, and the only thing better than a power cab is two power cabs in stereo. To drive this incredible rig, you need a top-notch guitar too. So this giveaway includes an Ernie Ball Music Man Saber HT, which can deliver all the tones you need from country to blues to rock and even beyond. This prize package is valued at more than $7,000 and it could be yours, but you've got to enter to win. Open up another browser window so you don't miss a second of GearFest 2023 and head over to gearfest.com slash win to enter right now. Before you submit your entry, be sure to check out all the rules and limitations on this promotional giveaway. Then enter and cross your fingers that you'll be the lucky winner of the GearFest 2023 Day 1 giveaway. Good luck. Like I said, you want to be sure to open a new window in your browser to head over to enter the giveaway because you don't want to miss a second of GearFest 2023. Coming up next, we've got something really fun for you to check out. Recently, we launched a new show on YouTube that we call Rig Builders. In every episode, two complete gear nuts come here to our Fort Wayne campus to compete to build the best rig possible for a given budget. But the catch is, they don't know what kind of rig they'll be building. For example, in episode one, guitarist Perfecto De Castro and Kyle Bull competed to build the ultimate country guitar rig for $5,000, and neither of them had ever played country before. It's a lot of fun, and at the end, you, the viewers, get to choose who built the best rig. To watch the first episode of Rig Builders, visit sweetwater.com slash rig builders. And now, we're excited to announce that Rig Builders Episode 2 is about to drop. Two new contestants, a new challenge, and tons of great gear, and you'll pick the winner. And what could be better than that? It's a game show specifically for musicians. We've got an excerpt from the upcoming second episode of Rig Builders coming up next, and we'll be following that with a visit to the booth of guitar and bass mavens Ivan is. Then we'll jump into the world of analog synthesizers at the Moog Music booth. From there, our friends at Online Marketing will be showing us some of the highlights of the brands they represent, including Audio-Technica, Warm Audio, and more. After our trade show booth visits, Sweetwater's metal master Nick Bocock will sit down with legendary bassist James Lomenzo. 
James joined the band White Lion in 1984, and he was with them until 1991. He also held down the low end for former KISS guitarist Ace Frehley and Zach Wilde's Pride and Glory side project. His other credits include stints with David Lee Roth and with Slash's Snake Pit, before he joined Zach Wilde again in Black Label Society in 2005. Currently, James Lomenzo is in his second tour of duty with thrash metal icons Megadeth. He became a permanent member of the group in May of 2022. But before we get to that, first let's take a look at a preview of Rig Builders Episode 2. I'm happy with my chain. Yeah. Yours sounds yeah. great. Yeah. What do you think? Mine sounds better. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta take this off. It's getting serious in here. I got you back. Payback. Payback. Wow. Awesome. Good. Amazing. Hey, that that felt really sassy. <laughs> I might not be solid. <laughs> Us two professional engineers totally forget to get a pop filter for a vocal chain. Cool. It's gonna be a real shootout. This is an emotional yo-yo. What's happening? Greetings, Liquid Sweetwater here once again at Gear Fest 2023. I'm here with my buddy Tom from Ibanez and they have a lot of new stuff for this year. So this is like speed dating, go. All right, Nick, great to see you again. Likewise, my friend. Um, so we have lots of great stuff here. Um, NAM this year was really exciting for us. Um, when you think of Ibanez, you think of an artist-driven company, research-driven company, and that's the whole idea behind the Axe Design series. Axe Design Lab features many new guitars this year. We have the RGD 8-string. We have uh, Evertune guitars, Fishman, Fishman equipped. New RG with EMG pickups, gorgeous guitars. 27-inch scale length, 27 frets on this uh, RGA. Also new for this year, we have a new AZ with a gorgeous top and uh, obviously uh, roasted maple neck. And we have the new RG, also part of the Axe Design Lab. Um, this is a new J Custom model featuring uh, all sorts of different contours inside um, for lightweight and super fast playability. And then as we move over here, we have obviously, uh, you may have heard a little buzz about this guitar, the Tim Henson model. That's Just been doing little. quite well, little, yeah. quite well this year. Lots of excitement there. And then uh, new um, AE models featuring all sorts of great features. And the PA 300 model, the asymmetrical body, really good for those finger style type artists. Um, going back to the Axe Design Lab, we kind of started those ideas with the Bass Workshop series right, many right, years yeah. ago. So here, uh, the new crossover this year. Um, upgraded with multi-scale fretboard. Also in the Axe in the Bass Workshop series this year, we have the Ashula Bass, half fretted, half fretless, which is amazing. Um, it's really great to see what people are doing in that on videos. Yeah, yeah, so it'd be yeah. very interesting to see um, how that's going to work. And a new fretless, um, our first fretless EHB, which is really exciting and a new five-string EHB as well for this year. So lots of good, cool models coming out, uh, really exciting. Well, I'm going to applaud this man on two levels. Number one, for these fine products. Number two, for doing it so darn quickly. That's a wrap, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> you got it, Nick. Yes. Take care. Hi, I'm Daniel Fisher here at Sweetwater's Gear Fest 2023. I'm here with Max of Moog. Uh, tell us what's new and exciting. Uh, well, so we're showing off our new software plugins for the Mogerfogers, which we feel offer some really exciting features that you don't find on regular plugins, like the ability to use virtual CV to modulate all of these things. So you can open up you know, a million different instances of the plugins and then be able to treat them like a little mini modular where they're all able to modulate each other. And um, yeah, just do some really interesting things that some of our hardware isn't able to do and nice things like being able to sync it to the DAW clock, sync modulation to the DAW clock and just conveniences that you would expect from plugins. But we're very proud of you know what we did here. Um, and then we have our classic 60 HP Trinity with Mother 32 Subharmonicon and DFAM that's playing here, which is actually really nice to be able to interact and process with the Mogerfogers. Um, and then we have our Sweetwater exclusive Mahogany Mini Moog Model D. So there's only 250 that we're making. Yeah, I really um, like that look. It's, the wood has a nice 3D quality to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it came out really beautifully, so we're very happy with that. And as you know, I'm a big fan of the Mogerfogers. I brought all my Mogerfogers with for this gear fest. So yes. keep your eyes open for videos on that. Yep. And uh, hey, thanks for showing us everything around. Yes. Yeah, this is Max from Moog. I'm Daniel Fisher at Sweetwater. Thanks for watching. Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. This is GearFest 2023. We're in the online marketing booth with our friend Dan. Great to see you, buddy. Good to see you, too. Thanks Man, you guys, could you have brought more gear? <laughs> we we tried to bring uh, more gear. We we <laughs> we laid out what uh, what we thought made sense for for this. So, it's, yeah. it's pretty crazy. Yeah. So online represents a bunch of great brands, and you guys have like brought it all together into one sure. huge rig. Tell us what's happening here. Sure. So the idea here, we, we do represent a lot of lines to Sweetwater and kind of support them on the back end, mm -hmm. right? Um, we wanted to show what happens when you connect all this stuff together, right? So we have. Uh, uh, deep background in studio recording, but also in live sound, and there's a lot of overlap between those. So we've got some really high quality microphones from Audio Technica and from Warm Audio um, that we've got on our performers. Mm -hmm. We're able to take those into some really nice studio boutique level uh, preamps and EQs and compressors from Warm Audio. And then we're taking those line into a mixer. And the reason that we're taking them into a, an Allen & Heath D-Live mixer here mm -hmm. is so that we can create multiple mixes for multiple locations, right? Quickly and easily. So um, each performer will get their own personal mix from the mixer to the IEM system here behind me, the 3255 from Audio Technica. Okay. They'll wear a receiver pack, mm -hmm. and then that'll that'll feed into their ears using a mock series IEM from Westone. From there, um, that that supplies the performers. We can also take a main mix out of that. We can monitor at different places in the chain. We can send that over Dante to an SQ mixer and an Avantis mixer at different stations, but also to our main outputs when we want to monitor back after the performance. Um, so. All of that ties all this great gear together. Yeah. We're, we're able to, to work with some, uh, some friends and some partners of ours to put in the other pieces, the instruments, the hardware, the amp, right. um, all that stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, show how, it, how signal flows from beginning to end. Right, right. And even with a, a huge system like this, with all the great brands, I mean, you've got RF venue, antennas, you've got all kinds of stuff going on here. It's surprising how simply it all comes together, isn't it? Because it's all just a yep. linear, kind of a thing. That's right, yeah. yeah. I mean, ev everything from input to output, follow it step by step, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right, and of course, Alan, he's serving as the centerpiece for the whole thing, as the routing hub, that's if right. you will, for everything that, that's going mm -hmm. on. Fantastic. Well, this booth is a lot of fun. I know you've got performers coming in here. I think it's gonna be a great gear fest. All right. Thanks so much. Great to see you, buddy. You too. All right, thanks for joining me. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Greetings, Nick with Sweetwater here, and it's my pleasure, my honor, to be joined by my dear old friend, bass playing legend, James Lomenzo. And if you don't know who this guy is, fix that wrong right now, because he's played with everybody from White Lion, David Lee Roth, Zach Wilde in both Black Label and Pride and Glory, um, some small band called Megadeth, and some guy called um, Slash in a Snake Pit band. And James is, of course, of course, with Megadeth right now, and aptly named the Mega Drive James Lomenzo Signature Ashdown Pedal. So my friend, please tell us about this glorious unit. What's the deal? Nick, um, years ago, we uh, Ashdown and myself had uh, come up with a great idea for a bass distortion pedal, and it was called the Hyperdrive. And the idea was I was trying to replicate something that I'd used many, many years ago uh, when I'd started playing bass. Um, I used to play an Alembic bass. Right. And in that bass, you could sweep the frequencies, the mid-range frequencies up and down for each pickup. So, um, and what I would do is I would take one of those pickups and put it into a guitar amp, like a guitarist and right. find that really sweet spot, just like some guitar players use a wah-wah pedal to kind of find a peak where the distortion takes off. Right. Right. So we done that and it was a very successful pedal. Um, we, we sold, we sold out actually. Uh, there was, there was a time uh, over the years where people would go, where do I get that pedal? And it's just, they sold everyone they ever made. So I was very proud of that pedal. Um, even more so the, the success of the thing isn't just about sales, but it's also about, um, it's also about, do I use it? You know, yep. is it on stage with me? And the thing was, every gig I would do, like I get a call and they go, can you do the Dio Disciples for a month? Would you come out and do that? I said, yeah, I'll bring my pedal and whatever ramp you have will be okay. You know, we'll see what happens. So anyway, um, through my um, alliance with uh, Ashdown, when I came back to Megadeth, um, Mark Goodday called me up and he said, what do you think about um, doing an updated uh, pedal? Because, um, you know, it, it seems like, you know, we, we did really well with that last one. Do you have any ideas? And I told him, you know what? I'm, I'm a little bit tapped on the idea because I liked what we had. So um, why don't you put Rob Green on it, their designer, and see what he can come up with. I, I'm, you know, I was getting into this concept of, of using high-pass and low-pass filters right. on, um, 
on some of my recording, right? For different, various reasons, just to fit in with different instruments. And so that's all the feedback I had. Um, Rob came up with an amazing circuit. And uh, what this is, is the Mega Drive. So it essentially is um, your bass going through clean as can be. And um, it actually goes through a buffer circuit. So it actually sounds a little cleaner and a little more together than it would if you just kind of plugged in or went true bypass. Right. Um, next to that is the distortion circuit. So what happens in this, you've got a low frequency and a high frequency knob. Right. And what it does is as you move them together, the high frequency will start to limit the amount of high frequency that will go to the distortion. And the low frequency will do the same. What's really cool about this is you you can focus a very narrow band or a very wide band of distortion to be mixed with your bass guitar. And you can, by doing that, you can select the frequency up or down. So whatever fits between my hands right here, that's the distortion that you'll be basically putting into, uh, putting along with your bass guitar. It's a real clever unit, like six controls. That's the input. Then obviously you've got your drive, your drive mix, you've got your blend mix, and you've got your high and low frequency passes, as you've said. And then, like you said, you're just focusing where the distortion is, and then you use the blend to fill out the upper, upper and lower section. So you've got this big full thing with this glorious spike. So you cut through the mix, but don't wallow. That's a great description, actually. And the thing is, with all these knobs, it can seem daunting when you look at it, but when you break it down in sections, as you've, as you've mentioned, it's really easy to get on with. If you're looking for that thing where you can have your bass sound and find a competitive edge sonically to play with really loud guitars, which has been my job for most of my life, yep. this is the pedal for you. And like you and I, it's built like a tank. So that's, that's the last of my pitch. And there you have it, my friends, the James Lomenzo Ashdown Signature Mega Drive. Thank you so much, my friend, for taking the time. Thank you, Nick, and thank you, Sweetwater. We've got three more GearFest trade show booth tours coming up, and this time we'll be hitting the floor to stop by and see the incredible guitars of the gifted luthiers at Breedlove. Then we'll head over to explore pro audio with our friends at Rupert Neve Designs. I highly recommend checking out the new Newton channel strip, by the way. It's fantastic. And then we'll see the latest and greatest from Rode microphones. They've always got something new and cool for us to see. But first, let's talk a little bit about keyboards. I mentioned earlier in this live stream that Sweetwater was founded by Chuck Surak as a mobile recording studio that's since grown into a full-blown commercial studio complex, and that remains a big part of our DNA here at Sweetwater. But the other side of the story is that Chuck was an early adopter of one of the most amazing keyboards of all time, the Kurzweil K250. The K250 was amazing because it featured sample sounds, and that's important because it was one of the very first sampling synthesizers. So Chuck could add very realistic pianos, strings, horns, and more to his clients' studio productions. He dug deep into the K250 and eventually released his own sound libraries for it. Those libraries were purchased by other K250 owners including Stevie Wonder, Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton, and many more who then wanted to purchase their K250s and accessories from Chuck. Sweetwater became a Kurzweil dealer and things really took off. As the saying goes, now you know the rest of the story. Now I tell you this because that in-depth love for keyboards of all types is still a huge part of what we do here at Sweetwater. We love the sounds, the technology, and well, we've got a video coming up that will tell you more about why Sweetwater should be your source when you're shopping for keyboards and technology. Speaking of keyboards and technology, very few people know more about that topic than legendary producer, songwriter, and musician Jimmy Jam, who's half of the mega production team Jam & Lewis. They've had more number one billboard hits than any other songwriting and production team in history. Jam and Lewis have produced everyone from Janet Jackson to George Michael, Mariah Carey to Human League, and countless others. Jimmy recently paid us a visit here at Sweetwater, and he took the opportunity to tour Sweetwater's Gear Museum, where he reminisced about keyboards and synths and the amazing recordings he used them on. Hey, it's Jimmy Jam, live from Sweetwater. We're in Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's a beautiful sunny day, and it's gonna get even better, because we're here at Sweet water. That's gonna be the new theme song, by the way. When you start hearing that sweet water, they're gonna they go, who wrote that? Oh, Jimmy Jam wrote that. Oh yeah, that's the one. Let's go in here and see what they got cooking up in here. Cause I'm hungry for some good music. Oh my god. Okay, a Vox Jaguar organ, a Simmons drum machine. Wow, I love it. okay, I'm already in love. And you know, there's a Janet album called The Velvet Rope. And I know I'm not supposed to be back behind the velvet rope, but 
We won't tell anybody that we're doing this, okay? We'll put it back. We'll put it back like nothing's happening. So here's the thing. I gotta. I mean, come on now. Vox Jaguar organ. I mean, this is like amazing. This is like some museum type stuff. Like this is museum level stuff. And this Wurlitzer piano. When I started playing. I started on the drums when I was a kid. That was my first instrument. And my dad played keyboards, actually still does play keyboards. My dad just turned 96 years old, still plays the keyboard. His very first piano was a Wurlitzer piano, exactly like this one here. His was a little different color, but it was exactly the same piano. It's beautiful. Oh, I gotta love this. And uh, as we go down memory lane, okay, wait a minute. This TI-3340 or 3340, for those of y'all following along at home, I did one of my first demos on one of these. That's amazing. I'm, okay, I'm already, I'm already inspired. Not to mention this beautiful VW bus. I mean, this is, this is really gorgeous. We could put a recording studio in here. Okay, let me make sure that we don't, I don't mess anything up. Here's an OG Mac. <laughs> ah, yeah, we had some of these. Kurzweil, beautiful. Okay, let me make sure I'm not knocking anything down. Make sure the police aren't coming or anything. Okay, we're, we're still good, we're still good. See, the microphone's making it look like I'm supposed to actually be here. That's why I brought the mic with me, right? Because if I didn't have the mic, then I'd be loitering. But now that I have the mic, I'm working. So you gotta, it's all little nuance, nuance types things. What else do we have here? This is beautiful. Oh, we got the Elisa stuff. Oh, Tascam, cassette players, TIAC. I remember these names from back in the day. I don't think TIAC is still around anymore. And DAT players. This is like time travel, y'all. This is like virtual time travel being here. And now, look at all of this. All of these different keyboards here. Let me tell you about this stuff here. Oh, we got everything, all the equipment that back in the day we, we used. The NS10 Yamaha speakers, the Auratone speakers. We still have those in our studio. The Kurzweil mini board, MIDI board. Another Mac from back in the day. This one's one of the holy grails here though. This is the Lindra. And Terry and I used one of these back in the day on New Edition, on the Control album with Janet. Like a lot of our classic records were done on a Lindrum just like this. It's amazing. Got the Roland R8, Rhythm Composer, did a lot of uh, Mint Condition records on that. The Elises, this was a lot of the uh, Sounds of Blackness records were done on one of those. Wow, it's amazing stuff. Oh, and a CP70, I think. So this piano here, I had one of these in my apartment because I couldn't fit like a real piano in there. So a lot of the uh, early stuff that we did, we did on, on one of these pianos. I don't know, can you hear that? I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play a song, wait a minute. I'm gonna put this here, I don't know if you can hear this though. Can you hear that? I'm gonna play a song that we did on the CP70. It goes like this. Tender Love by the Force MDs was done on a piano just like this. Now we got the memory Moog, the mini, Mo oh, look at this, this is fancy, look at this fancy. Mini mode, we love that. Jupiter 6, classic. Emacs, we had one of those, but we only had the rack mount one. We didn't have the one with the full keyboard. And then we got the clavinet. This is probably the classic clavinet song to me to this day is probably Superstition by Stevie Wonder. Probably the quintessential, if somebody said, play me a clavinet song, that would be the song you play. Superstition. It's a beautiful one. Poly 6. Casio, love the Casio. We did a bunch of our demos on a little Casio back in the day. Arp Odyssey, one of the first synthesizers. And we had one of these, 
the JX3P and the Here's the thing about that particular synthesizer is the key to this synthesizer is this little box right here. Cause I never like, you know, trying to go through, you know, looking at the screens and all that. I always like having knobs to turn. So the PG 200 gave you the knobs to turn. So we have this keyboard, but we can't find that piece to it. We gotta, I might steal this, well, I'm not gonna steal it, but I might borrow it and take it back to the studio. Here's the Mirage. The Janet Jackson Control album, a lot of it was done on the Mirage. I don't think anybody even knew the company in Sonic, but I talked about them on the cover of Keyboard Magazine, and they started sending us a whole bunch of them, which was very nice of them to do. So we used them a lot. JX8P, which is the bigger version of the 3P. And then over here, another Curse Wild down here. And then, oh, the DX7. I mean, DX7 is a classic keyboard. DX7 is classic. The bass line on When I Think of You was done on a DX7. Whole lot of things. So that's a, that's a good one. And the Matrix 6, the Oberheim. And the D50, one of the most beautiful sounding keyboards ever in existence. So, I gotta tell you, man, this is sort of like what I would imagine keyboard heaven would look like if you were gonna do keyboard heaven. And we're only like 20 feet in the door of this place. So I can imagine Sweetwater's got a lot of crazy stuff going on. So we're gonna find some other stuff to get into. But I'm gonna hang out with the keyboards for just a little longer before they kick me out of here. Hi, I'm Daniel Fisher here at Sweetwater Sound, and today we're gonna to talk about some of the many reasons why you should buy your keyboards and synthesizers here at Sweetwater. For starters, we have all the best brands in stock and ready to ship with fast free shipping. And we're always adding exciting new brands and exclusive product launches. Our financing options can help you get the gear you need right now. We have warehouses in this store filled with keyboards, synthesizers, and accessories. This allows our well-trained sales engineers to try pretty much everything we sell. And when I say well-trained, I'm talking about a 13 week, eight hours a day training schedule taught by Sweetwater and music industry experts. Our Sweetwater sales engineers are chosen from all over the world, specifically because of their all-around expertise in every aspect of music instruments and performance. We do all this just to make sure your Sweetwater sales engineer gets you the right gear for your exact needs. I'm also proud to say that Sweetwater has the best website in the business with over 60,000 articles and videos offering useful product tips, demonstrations, deep dives, and no talking, playing only videos. You can even use our product pages to directly compare keyboard specs using our compare button for each product. And most importantly, Sweetwater is there for you and your purchases long after you've ordered. Along with free shipping, we also offer a free extended two-year warranty and lifetime support provided by a team of experts who are in communication with the industry engineers and developers for the most accurate and up-to-date information. They will help you with anything you've purchased from us. I made my first Sweetwater purchase back in 1992, and by 1994, I was working here. That's how much I enjoyed my interactions with Sweetwater. If you have any questions, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. My name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you very much for watching. Hey everybody, Don Carr here, GearFest 2023. I'm in the Breedlove booth with Angela. Oh my gosh, Angela, your work is amazing. You guys do such great stuff. What do you got for us today? Oh, you guys, I am so excited to be here today, first of all. Thank you, Don. Um, I would love to show off this really special suite of guitars. We have the Tonewood Showcase guitars. This is a collaboration that we were able to do with Sweetwater. So we work together to design five stunning guitars here. And the whole premise behind this project is to get to hear the difference between back and side tone woods. So we've built five guitars, the same body shape, same top wood, built to the same frequencies and specs, and it's just gonna be the tone wood that you get to hear the subtle difference in the voice of these guitars. And Don, I know you checked these out because there's an amazing InSync article where you can actually go hear sound bites of all of these. Um, so please go check that out too. But right here, we have a Coca-Bolo back inside with this amazing sapwood center. This is native Oregon myrtle wood on this one. We have a figured East Indian rosewood. We have Hawaiian koa. And then we also have some Oregon walnut at the end. So you really need to go check out the article so that you can hear the difference between these guitars. 
but these are just a beautiful, beautiful project coming together. So besides that, I'm gonna run you guys through some stuff really fast so you can get a taste of what it's like here at the show. Um, we have some other beautiful USA made breed loves um, showcased here. We have our organic pro collection. These are all solid woods as well. And our eco collection. Um, these are kind of our entry level guitars, if you will, more accessible price points. And those are made with a solid top and our eco tone wood back inside. That's a proprietary laminate. Um, and last but not least, just to show you the Breed Love body shapes. We have four proprietary body shapes. The Concerto on the left is kind of similar to a Dreadnought. This is our version of a Dreadnought, if you will. Our classic concert body shape. This is our Concertina, which is a 12 fret to body, similar to a parlor. And then our newest addition is our companion body shape. This is kind of our travel size guitar. So welcome to Breed Love. We hope you guys enjoy the show. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater here. This is GearFest 2023. We're coming to you from Studio A here at Sweetwater and we are surrounded by Rupert Neve Designs gear, courtesy of Jonathan Pines. Good to see you. Hi, good to see you. I'm excited to be here for GearFest. Yeah. And, uh, uh, we're really excited that we have the new Newton channel to mm -hmm. show uh, you and the world. And this is, I think, the most Newtons that have been anywhere to date. <laughs> Six of them in one rack in one location. That's fantastic. Yeah, we've got, uh, I think, uh, one of the uh, uh, influencers is going to do a whole drum thing with them. Today. Oh, nice. Nice, fantastic. Well, as you know, I, I did a video with a pair of these. Yes. And, uh, man, they're just fantastic. You know, they're, they're so versatile with the way that you can, you got the EQ, you got the compressor, you can change the order, but it's all easy to operate. It's just kind of grab it and go. One of the things we're really proud about this was that we made no compromises with the design, but also made it so that you really almost can't get a bad sound out of it. Mm -hmm. That it's really easy to use and really easy to sculpt sound with it. Right, right. So I imagine one of the questions that comes up is you've got three of the Shelford channels here. Sales engineers are coming in, influencers, content creators are coming in. How are you explaining the difference between those? Well, there's actually quite a number of differences in that you have a transformer gain preamp in the uh, uh, Shelford channel. So the first 15 dB of gain comes from the transformer. And so it's going to push the sound of the transformer uh, significantly. Um, this is more like a 5211 on steroids. Okay. Um, so high voltage design, fully class A, um, but not transformer gain. Then you have an inductor EQ in the Shelford channel. Mm -hmm. And here you have a capacitor EQ. And actually the high band is, is actually very similar because this is really two bands of inductor EQ and then a little bit more open uh, uh, capacitance design on the uh, on the top, mm -hmm. um, and here you have a dial bridge compressor, which again is inherently very vibey. Uh, this is a, a VCA based compressor and simpler to use. Mm -hmm. I.e., um, it has a, a quasi fixed ratio. It's a little bit program dependent. Same about the attack time, and then fully variable release, uh, and of course threshold. And it's designed to be able to be used on a whole variety of sources. Right. Um, and then uh, where they have a complete similarity is in the output section. Um, this also, ha the Shelfer channel has uh, the double tap output with the zero dB and the negative six output, which are both live. Um, the Newton channel also has that and yep. silk red and silk blue. Right, so you got the texture and the silk and, and all that good stuff. And what I found with the Newton is that it's so easy to sit down and just dial it in. You know, I, I did some voiceover with it, did some podcast stuff with it. I also did some acoustic guitars and, and put it on a couple of different sources. And just being able to reach out, grab the knob, and it always sounds good. It's just finding the ideal setting. And the, the program-dependent compressor I found to be really, really interesting to work with. Kind of as you increase the threshold, the ratio sort of increases Yeah, the, the as ratio well. is nominally fixed at 2 over 1, but as you push it a little bit, mm -hmm. it, it also gets a little bit steeper. So, it, you know, it was really... Uh, designed originally it was like hey can we do a one knob compressor no we need to have the variable release on, right. uh, on it but being able to make it as you said super easy to use and super friendly to a lot of different sources right without without sacrificing any audio quality i mean it's still yeah. audio well and that was that's one of the, the, the huge things that, that was really important in in the original design of this was using all the best uh, components. No compromises, not using a lesser quality switch, a lesser quality transformer, right. lesser quality pots, all fully detented, everything you'd expect from a Rupert Neve Designs pro right. uh, product. But 
at a lot more affordable price. Right. Well, you nailed it. Awesome. And always a pleasure having you here in the full array of, of Rupert Neve Designs gear. And uh, enjoy the rest of Gear Fest. It's going to awesome. be a lot of I'm fun. I'm really excited. There's a bunch of really cool people here. I, I think we're going to see some great stuff. It's going to be great. Thanks Thank a you. lot. Hey, what's happening? Credit D. Will here from Sweetwater. We at Gear Fest 2023, and I'm at the Rose booth with my guy, Sean. How you doing today, man? Can't complain, man. Awesome, Can't awesome, complain. awesome. So tell me what you got going on, bro. Uh, we got some cool new items uh, that just got launched and announced, which we're really excited about. Of course, everyone knows the Roadcaster Pro 2. Yeah. Um, but now we have the new Roadcaster Duo, Ooh. which is a smaller footprint of the original Roadcaster Pro 2, which is really nice because a lot of people wanted a smaller footprint. So we have a smaller footprint now. We have two inputs for the XLRs, where the other one had four, which is really nice too, because if you really wanted to expand, have more guests, mm -hmm. this is for a simpler version of it. Um, we also have uh, six of the smart pads. So the original one had eight uh, smart pads, this one has a six. So you still have a lot of functionality within the smart pads. You have the MIDI controls still in here. Everything that the Roadcaster Pro 2 can do this one can do okay awesome awesome what else you got for me man well what i also have is actually we just launched a new firmware mm. um, that got launched with this we have now the ability to get um, the wireless me and the wireless go twos um into here without a receiver because the receiver is built in okay we just launched the firmware we just got it done so now everyone who has these units can go directly into here which is really perfect. nice perfect 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 now yeah. We also launched the Streamer X. The Streamer X is a great source if you want to get your audio and video into your computer for streaming. Yeah. Um, in the back, we have one um, Nutrik combo jack, so you can do XLR quarter inch, and then we also have the in and out for the HDMI. So if you need a stream, if you need to get some kind of audio and video directly into your uh, system, this is a great device, so you can do it all in one. Okay. For $399, it's going to be the best solution and the easiest solution. It does 4K capture, so you have no um, limitations on to what you can do and what you can bring into your system. Awesome, and it's super portable. It looks like super it's super portable. portable. So, Sean, bro, tell me what you got going on back out over here. Yeah, awesome, yeah. man. Uh, we have, of course, the Roadcaster Pro 2 here. Mm -hmm. We have the two PSE One Plus arms with the NT. TH100 headphones, but what's really awesome about this setup here is that you're able to get everything um, done within a short proximity. So we have, of course, the Roadcaster Pro 2, so you can actually get your sound pads here, you can get your voice effects, your MIDI controls, you have everything here set up, so anyone who wants to chill, relax, mm -hmm. have a little podcast, it's always all, easy access, yeah. uh, all, all, all here ready for you. And it looks amazing, it looks awesome. Love the setup y'all got going on, but Sean, bro, yeah. it's always awesome to stop by hanging it's out with you guys at Road, man. Nice being here with Thank you for taking man. the time, man. All right. Renting a band and orchestra instrument is easy at Sweetwater. If you're ready to rent an instrument, but need help figuring out where to start, you're not alone. With hundreds of options, different price ranges, and unique needs, things can get complicated quickly. It's why we've worked hard to make your next rental a simple, fast, affordable, and hassle-free process. With over 40 years in selling musical instruments and pro audio equipment, Sweetwater is one of the most trusted names among musicians and content creators all over the world. We focused on delivering a superior online shopping and rental experience that you can enjoy from the comfort of your own home. Our staff is made up of seasoned band and orchestra players with decades of combined knowledge. So whether your child is just getting started with their musical journey or stepping up to the next level, we can help you with the smallest of details to the biggest of questions. Ensuring your child gets the highest quality instrument from the top brands in the industry is crucial to their success as a young musician and student. Not only are the instruments here at Sweetwater the highest quality available, every instrument we rent or sell goes through our exclusive 40-point inspection, making certain every facet of the instrument is in perfect condition before you receive it. Plus, our enhanced premium rental fleet gives you access to upgraded cases, bows, strings, and mouthpieces. And with the widest selection of the top brands like Selmer, Yamaha, Buffet Crampon, Bach, Eastman & Moore, you're sure to find the right instrument that's not only the highest quality, but 100% educator approved. Once you've picked your instrument, our optional one-of-a-kind instrument protection plan gives you peace of mind knowing your rental will always be in great playing condition. And if there's any accidental damage during your rental, we'll send you a replacement the same day so your young musician can keep playing. That means less downtime and more music. If your child would like to keep their instrument, 
100% of your monthly rental payments will be applied towards your purchase. Plus, you can take advantage of early purchase discount offers to make the transition from rental to ownership even sweeter. Or, if your student would like to upgrade their instrument, Sweetwater will help you swap out your current instrument immediately and apply historical payments toward the new instrument balance, making stepping up simple and affordable. So if you're looking to rent an instrument, look no further than Sweetwater. With rates starting as low as $5 per month for your trial period and absolutely no long-term commitments, it's never been easier and more affordable to rent a high-quality instrument for your child. From essentials to accessories to instruments and more, our team of passionate experts are ready to work one-on-one -on -one with you to help your child sound their best. Sweetwater, the best place for band and orchestra. Wow, it's hard to believe, but that actually brings us to the end of our live stream for day one of GearFest 2023. The time's just flown by. It seems as if we just got started. But that's the beauty of GearFest. If you love music and gear the way we do, the time just flies by. Fortunately, we'll be back tomorrow with day two of GearFest 2023, and we've got lots more amazing things for you to see. Day one has been a fantastic day. We saw so many great things here. I mean, where else could you start out touring a two-time Grammy winner studio with Eric Krasno? then jump over for a personal guitar demo with a virtuoso like Tim Henson, or a talk with a vocal and guitar superstar like the great Miles Kennedy, and talk about inspiring. And where else could you go behind the scenes with two of today's hottest up and coming artists, like Elise Tro and Kuko? I always learn something from watching artists, how they approach their art and the gear they use to make their music and productions. Our thanks to Josh Dunn of 21 Pilots for opening up his home and studio for us to get a tour. And what a treat getting to hear the legendary Jimmy Jam look back at the synths and keys on his classic productions. Simply amazing. And that's to say nothing of all the drool-worthy equipment we saw in the GearFest trade show booths. But even though we saw so many incredible things here today, remember this is just day one of the GearFest livestream. We're not even halfway through GearFest 2023 yet. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for even more GearFest in our day two livestream. To give you a little sneak preview, we've got blues guitarist Marcus King. Legendary drummer and mega producer Butch Vig will be here. Paul Gilbert and Aaron Spears will be here and so much more. You don't want to miss a minute of GearFest Day 2. And remember, even though the Day 1 live stream from GearFest 2023 is wrapping up, GearFest continues on. You'll soon be able to check out the full-length videos of all the clips we saw today. The key is to look for hashtag GearFest2023 on all of your social media platforms. We'll be posting tons of additional GearFest content, and all of the social media content creators who are here on campus will be posting their own videos and content as well. By the way, our huge GearFest sale also continues. Click over to Sweetwater.com to see the amazing GearFest deals and contact your Sweetwater sales engineer to learn more about all of the sales and specials we've got running through GearFest. Plus, you can get 0% interest for 48 months when you purchase using your Sweetwater card. It's the best time of the year to purchase the equipment you want and need. Of course, day two will also mean more free gear. Tune into the day two live stream to find out how to enter and to learn more about the amazing prize package we'll be giving away. You gotta watch to find out how to enter, so we'll see you right here again tomorrow. I can't wrap things up for day one without giving a huge shout out to the entire crew here at Sweetwater that works so hard to bring you GearFest every year. We literally start planning and working on next year's GearFest as soon as this one ends, and it takes an incredible team and an incredible amount of work to make this happen, and I want to give everyone a huge thanks. This includes all the manufacturers and artists who take their time to appear at GearFest as well. Without them, there'd be no GearFest. And finally, thank you so much for joining us for GearFest 2023 Day 1. We're so grateful that you joined us today, and we hope you enjoyed the show. Music is all about passion, and GearFest is all about bringing us all together to share that passion. Please come back and join us tomorrow for Day 2. It's going to be an incredible day. On behalf of everyone here at Sweetwater, thank you. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater, and the Day 1 live stream of GearFest 2023 is now officially in the history books.